Okay, so I've just come back from a couple of photo shoots and I just felt like I had to make this video quickly because every now and then a camera comes out which embraces and kind of fulfills my desire for aesthetically pleasing, functionally pleasing and joyfully joyful giving camera. Basically a camera which I would love to hold in my hand, will make me want to shoot photography, but will also be useful to me professionally as well as personally. And for me, in 2021, that camera is the Fuji XE2. I absolutely adore this camera. It has got everything that I love in a camera body. And then when you put it with a, a small lens like this 18 millimeter, um, and I, I've, I've just made a video about the 18 mil. So if you want to look at that, that's linked um, for you now um, above. But there's soul in this camera and it's really hard to quantify what that means when you think about what's soul in a camera because it's just, you know, it's just machinery. But when you when I'm shooting with this camera there's something about it which just inspires me to creativity inspires me to want to um, shoot more photography and even when I'm taking pictures like today I've been shooting uh, vintage cars for a vintage car garage and then a portrait session for um, a magazine and just shooting with this camera which is like you know 10 years old or whatever 16 megapixel um, sensor inside. It's hardly what you would think you, you would need to choose for a, a professional um, portrait and car shoot. You'd think you'd need something with you know 40, 50 megapixels and all the business but you really don't and the reason is is because the 16 megapixels is perfect for sensor size for anything that's um, going to be used for a magazine or online or whatever so no issues with quality and size. Then you've got ease of use. Now for me, I love the rangefinder style, even though I've been shooting with the Fuji X-T3 and Fuji X-T1 and other DSLRs for a long, long time, switching to a rangefinder body, it, there's something about it which just helps me um, to kind of just feel and see more composition, which I really love. And then having, I know it's a funny thing to say, but on here, the exposure compensation dial, on this style body, it's so easy to get to with the thumb. Now on the X-T3, I have to literally do this while I'm shooting, which doesn't sound like a lot, but there's something about that intuitive nature of being able to take, a, take pictures with a camera and not have to look at anything, but just know where things are. And I feel like what Fuji have done with the X-E2 is they've put, all the buttons and dials in the places where your hands will naturally move to whilst you are shooting. So you're not having to really work at it or stop and think. You're just, you can find everything you need so quickly. So that I love the way that works. Um, I love this hand grip on here. Again, the new XE4, I love the way it looks, but I kind of wonder whether or not you're gonna kind of wish you had something here as a grip and so I feel like that's a really decent hand grip and the size is so small. Um, so I, just now when I was shooting a portrait, the person I was photographing doesn't love having portraits taken but it was it's, it's for, a, um, for the press so it had to be done. And this just, I think this really helped the, the lady feel relaxed because actually she wasn't kind of feeling like, oh my goodness, there's a huge DSLR camera in my face. It feels much more like, you know, somebody in the family taking a picture. So again, that just helps people to feel relaxed. So I feel like when you think about where cameras are going now, and I think about what, you know, what's the future, I almost feel like this should be the future, that camera companies should kind of stop and say, you know what, let's go back to putting a bit more soul in our cameras and not worrying so much about the clean look. Because obviously in the new X-Trans 4 sensors for Fuji and all you know other brands, they're going for clean looks. They're going for you know really straight lines, HD look, that kind of thing. And you know, it's great for some things, but I feel like this has got a nostalgic value, which is also useful professionally 
which for me makes this the camera for 2021. And I'm gonna use this a lot this year, um, professionally and personally, um, because it just does a great job. So I think I'm gonna to have to get another one and probably an XE1 and uh, yeah, make sure I've always got these with me. So anyway, let me know your comments, what you think about this. You might think I'm crazy, um, but maybe you maybe you agree with me as well. So have a, yeah, let me know. Thanks ever so much. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed and uh, like this video and I'll see you soon.